click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger hello friends welcome to our digital blogger today we're going to compare axis direct a full service stock broker which is a bank based one versus upstocks a recent discount stock broker of india in this comparison we will be talking about company background pricing brokerage account opening charges exposure or leverage research performance of trading platforms and some other features so that you can figure out which of these two stock brokers access direct or upstocks is a better choice for you let's get started So starting with the company background, Axis Direct is a bank based full service stock broker. In fact, they are the trading arm of Axis Bank. It's a huge brand and certainly this stock broker enjoys brand equity without any doubt. It was launched in the year 2006 while Upstocks is a recent discount stock broker. It's more like a startup. It was launched in the year 2012, six years younger to Axis Direct. Since they are discount broker, they do not have much of an offering presence. While Access Direct is present in around 73 locations through its offline branches. If you're talking about membership, now Access Direct is a member of NSE, BSE, MSEI, and MCXSX, while Upstocks runs the membership with National Stock Exchange, Bombay Stock Exchange, MCX, and MCXSX. If you're looking to open an account with them, Access Direct charges you 999 rupees, a little less than 1000, for opening the trading account. To maintain your DMIT account with them, you are going to pay them 650 rupees every year. Upstocks was free till 15th of May, but they have come back, come back with a pricing plan. Trading account opening now costs you 150 rupees, and to maintain your DMIT account, it's going to charge another 150 every year. However, Still, discount stock broker such as Upstocks is much cheaper than a premium bank based full service stock broker like Access Direct. Then we have brokerage, one of the most important factors in finalizing a stock broker. Access Direct charges you 0.5% of your trade value. That's a huge chunk. For example, if you trade for let's say 1 lakh rupees, then you're going to pay them 500 rupees as brokerage charges only. There will be some taxes, there will be some duty, but 500 is going to be paid as a brokerage rate. In respect to the fact you make money or not, you are going to sell out that amount. Upstock does not charge you anything for equity delivery trade as far as brokerage is concerned. If you look at the other segments here, there is some sort of dependency on the trade value. If you're trading in options, rupees 100 per lot is still expensive. Upstocks, on the other hand, charges your flat rate of 20 rupees. They also have a condition of 0.01% of your trade value, whichever is lower. So, Upstocks being a discount stock broker stays up to its reputation and is certainly cheaper than Axis Direct. Then we have exposure or leverage for people who do not understand this concept. Basically, it's kind of a short term loan offered by your stock broker at a specific interest rate. This interest rate can be in the range of 15% to 20-22%. Axis Direct gives you exposure of up to 10 times for intraday. That would mean that with a trading account balance of 10,000 rupees, you can trade up to 1 lakh in equity intraday trades with Axis Direct. With Upstocks, this value can go up to 2 lakh because their exposure can go up to 20 times. In other segments as well, you will get up to 4 times exposure with exposure with, uh, with uh, upstocks, uh, sorry for that, while Access Direct does not offer much of an exposure to its clients. Having said that, it's a risky concept unless you understand the implications, the risks associated with exposure or leverage, we would advise you not to put your money on top of it. So that's exposure for you. Then we have customer service. Well, discount brokers are generally not known for providing decent customer service. Access Direct, on the other hand, is a bank-based full service stock broker. They give you email support, phone, toll-free number, 73 offline branches. The quality of communication is also good. The turnaround time is also quick. So definitely it's far, far better than Upstocks. Upstocks generally gives you admin-related information, admin-related assistance, and nothing beyond that. So if customer service is one of the most important factors for you, between these two stock brokers, you should be going with 
access direct then we have research now again discount brokers do not provide you any kinds of tips analysis or reports while access direct does that they have daily weekly monthly and yearly reports analysis for you at fundamental and technical level if you check out our review of access direct at our digital blogger.com you will be able to view different seg segregations of research reports according to the type of for trading segment so again if you're looking for research if you need some holding hand between these two stock brokers go ahead with access direct then we have trading segments now if you're looking to trade across ipo segment upstocks will not be able to help you with that there is a way a spa way but that is not a direct way so especially for a beginner or a small investor it's better you choose some other stock broker for your ipo investments Commodity trading is not allowed with Access Direct. So those are some limitations of these two stock brokers. Looking at what particular segment of trading product you're looking to put your money into, correspondingly, you can pick a stock broker. Then there are some other features. For instance, three in one account is given by bank based stock broker. This is some sort of a typo. It is indeed given by Access Direct as well. Basically, your bank account is linked with your trading account and you do not need to put any manual effort in fund transfer process that happens automatically with access direct so at that particular stock broker will be giving you this kind of account while upstock does not uh, furthermore you will be getting access to market tips margin funding you will also get relationship manager if you are a client of access direct but at the same time you have to understand it that whether you need these assistances whether you need these features in the first place if this is not important for you and you have other features that are much more important then you should be making a choice otherwise let's spend some time now on talking about the trading platforms we'll start with the mobile app and then we'll follow up with the other trading applications so let's go to google play store so we will start with Upstocks Pro. This is the name of the mobile application from Upstocks or RKSV. This is rated at 4.2 by around 3100 users. Out of that, around 11% of them have rated this app negatively. Overall satisfaction score stands at around 89%. So that's pretty good. Looking at the last update frequency here, it was done on 2nd of July 2017. Generally, Upstocks up, uh, updates their mobile app in the range of 3 to 4 weeks. It's, it's uh, good frequency number of installs in the range of 50,000 to 1 lakh can be improved as of now it's pretty slow so um, looking at the numbers here the app looks good um, there are a few concerns especially if you're living in a smaller city you might face some performance some speed related concerns you might face some connectivity issues as well if you are talking about technical fundamental analysis the features are limited as of now as compared to some of the mature mobile apps in the country for trading right now so it's a recommendable mobile app without any concern but let's see what access direct has to offer so the mobile app of access direct is rated at 3.8 by around 8400 users out of that around 19 percent of them have rated this app negatively still it matches the industry average uh, satisfaction score of 81 percent but uh, upstocks has a better number than this if you look at the frequency cycle, last one was done on April 2017. So it's been good three and a half months that this app has seen an update. Number of installs have gone in the range of one to five lakh. So it looks like an average app, it's not so great. Um, there are a few concerns such as the app uh, research reports and recommendations do not get updated on a regular basis. Then the number of features are limited. There have been some performance related concerns raised by the clients and some of the biggest problem includes the app hangs at times so especially for intraday traders that's a big no so the app looks good at an average level nothing beyond that and if you want to pick one of these two stock brokers access direct is still having a lot to improve as compared to upstocks pro now let's talk about the other trading platforms offered by these two stock brokers and for that we need to check out our digital blogger.com so we will start with access direct trading platforms they've got access direct swift trade as the terminal based solution this will require you to download and install an exe onto your computer or laptop once you do that put in your credentials and you can start trading now this application gives you multiple features but overall if you look at the industry benchmarks the number of features are still limited the performance and the speed are also having some concerns especially if you're using a lower internet connection bandwidth so to have a decent trading experience our advice is 
that you should use access direct swift train at a good speed of internet along with a reasonable uh, configuration of your computer and a laptop otherwise you might see some hiccups then there is a web portal this is a responsive web, uh, web browser based web application now it, it can be used across different browsers across different devices be it the computer laptop uh, desktop uh, mobile or a tablet it also gives you multiple features but the concern here is also about speed about performance now that's the thing with uh, the technology part Stock brokers that have been here for a while probably do not give that much inclination like the one we're talking about Access Direct here like, uh, as compared to the ones that are coming up of new age. So Access Direct our advice is that you should buck up yourself as far as inclination towards technology is concerned. Your mobile app has some concerns. The web portal and the terminal solution has performance related issues. Otherwise, you are a good stock broker. And for the clients or the potential clients of uh, this stock broker, you have to be wary of the fact that you might have to compromise with the usage of trading platforms. Now, this is Access Direct. Now, let's talk about the other uh, trading platforms offered by Upstocks. So Upstocks or RKSV gives you Nest as the terminal based solution. They do not have their in-house uh, application for their clients. So for terminal based solution, you have to rely on a third party application called Nest. This has been around for a while. So it's trustable. It's a reliable software. It gives you multiple types of feature, but user experience is a big concern when it comes to Nest, when it comes to third party outsourced application. Then uh, Upstocks Pro Web is the browser based web application. It has been consistently improved, updated by this discount stock broker. Multiple types of features gives you different types of orders. Technical fundamental analysis is also good. Speed is also fine. So it's certainly a recommendable software. Then the mobile app is what we have already discussed at Google Play Store. You can have a detailed checkout uh, at our digital blogger.com. We have done reviews of all kinds of uh, prominent stock broker trading platforms. This is Upstocks Pro Web talks about all kinds of features negatives and positives of using this application then uh, upstocks pro mobile app this is a detailed version of the review of uh, the mobile app offered by this particular discount store broker with the detailed information on features this is nest it's a third party application is not controlled by upstocks so um, this is actually used by a lot of stock brokers in the country right now and upstocks is just one of them so if you want to have a detailed check on these uh, trading applications you can check out our digitalblogger.com and look for these trading platforms for your reference now it really depends what kind of device you're looking to use for your trading if you're looking for a terminal based solution nest versus access direct uh, swift trade is also good so you have to pick and choose actually you can pick either of these two trading platforms more or less they are on a similar level um, then the web version definitely you should be going ahead with upstocks pro web it's far ma more mature far more uh, user effective for your trading and like we discussed for the mobile app at google play store reference um, the mobile app of upstocks is certainly better than the one provided by access direct so these are different trading applications offered by these two stock brokers. Now let's head back to the comparison. So that's it as far as comparison between Access Direct and Upstocks is concerned. We have talked about multiple features here starting from company background, pricing, brokerage, account opening, exposure, research, trading products, platforms. Now you have to see what you are looking at and basically from there you can make a choice. However, if you want our advice in finalizing the most suitable stock broker for yourself, you can check out this link or digitalblogger.com slash free callback broker choice. Put in your details and your preferences there and we will be setting up a callback for you absolutely free. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching it. We hope you liked it. In case you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button. We'll really appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our channel or digital blogger at YouTube for similar videos in the future. We have presence on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr and SlideShare where we post regular content on a daily basis. You can like us, follow us, subscribe us there to stay updated with the market information. So that is it. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.